Hello everyone, welcome back to Code Chef. And in today's video, we are going to discuss the question coins and triangle. So it is a very fundamental question based upon the concept binary search. So let us see the question. So the question statement goes like, Chef belongs to a very rich family which owns many gold coin gold mines and he bought n gold coins and decided to form a triangle. So the pattern in which he's making triangle is he puts one coin on the first row, second coin two coins on the second row and three coins on the third row. So something like this, something like this. Okay. So what we need to do, we need to find the maximum possible height, which can be obtained by these n coins. Maximum possible height, which can be obtained by the n coins uh, by putting them in the same fashion. Okay. So let us see for uh, an example, example. So this is our T test case. So for n is equal to three. If we try to make the same pattern, so one coin goes like this and two coin on the second row. So the height will be two. That's the answer. Okay. So for n is equal to five, if we make, if we try to make the same pattern, one coin on the first row, two coins on the second row and two coins on the third row. Because we only have five coins, this place is left out and this row is incomplete. So this row won't be counted. So our height will be two only. For, for n is equal to 7, if we take into consideration n is equal to 7, so one coin on the first row, two coins on the second row, three coins on the third row, and the last coin on the fourth row. So this fourth row is also incomplete. So the height, the maximum height will be 3. Okay, so before approaching this question, before getting to the approach of this question, let us see, can we find the number of coins? Coins required uh, required let's say required for nth height nth height so if, if i have given you that this is the height of the uh, pattern can you find the number of coins which will be required for that yes you can see by clear observation you can see that uh, let's say this let's say our example so when i gave you n is equal to 7 what you did you started to make the pattern you put for one coin on the first row, two coins on the second row, three coins on the third row. So the same for n, if you try to make the same pattern, you will put one coin on the first row, two coins, then three coins, then four coins on the fourth row, till, 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 nth, nth coin on the nth row. Well, n coins on the nth row. So what this is, this is nothing but n into n plus one divided by two. Sum of first n natural numbers. So this will be the number of coins required for nth height. This will be the number of coins required for nth height. So the approach of this question is, the approach of this question goes like, we will make a range in which we have all possible heights, in which we have all possible heights. So let us, let us first think about what can be the possible heights. So the minimum possible height can be one, the minimum possible height only one coin is given and we uh, we have put it on the first row this is the minimum possible height what can be what can be the maximum possible height so the maximum possible height can be n see the maximum possible height will be way way less than n but love our maximum possible height is only the answer we need to find but if we need to bound if we need to bound our height the we need to search for height so we need to bound our search result. We need to bound a search result. So that will be n because let's say for n is equal to seven. N is equal to seven, the height was three, which was way, way, way less than seven. But we can say that the answer will always lie between one and seven. One and seven with, with one as a close bracket and seven as an open bracket. That open bracket means seven won't be considered. If you put like this also, then it doesn't matter but it will always lie between one and seven. So this can be an observation which we can say for sure that the answer will lie between one and seven. So the answer will always lie between one and n. I'm not saying the answer will be n, but answer will always lie between one and n. So what we will do, we will start iterating on this and on each, on each i, what the i uh, resembles. For each i, what i resembles? i resembles height height is equal to i. 
So if height is equal to i, we can find the number of coins, number of coins required for this, and we have number of coins which we had. So if the number of coins required for making this pattern is less than or equal to n, so this is a possible height. We will save it somewhere. Uh, let's say answer variable, answer is equal to i, and we will continue our search. We will continue our search until and unless this this number of coins, this uh, number of coins corresponding to a particular height is greater than n, because once it is greater than n and it is an it is an increasing order one to n, it is an increasing order. So after that we won't be getting any other i for which we will getting a we will be getting a possible height. So the answer which we saved previously will be an answer. So this will be our approach. But if we look at the time complexity, this will be O of n. And n here belongs to 10 to the power 9. n here belongs to 10 to the power 9, which is very bad. Which is very, very bad. Okay. So what we can do? What we can do? So if you closely look into this, that first we need to iterate. Okay, we need to iterate. Second, the uh, the subset or the uh, set on which we need to iterate is 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 an increasing order, is sorted. So if you have done any binary search question and the search result is sorted and you need to iterate and you have a certain criteria on which you need to iterate, then you need to think, you need to try binary search. Binary search. So what we will be doing in binary search, we will, we will put start index equal to 1 and end index equal to n. We will find the mid, we will find the coins corresponding to mid. If the if it is a valid mid, then we will find the answer right, right side of the mid because we need to maximize. So let's say I got the answer for uh, 4. So we will, uh, we will uh, continue the search result for 4 greater than 4 because if is there any answer which is greater than 4, then that will be a maximum answer. Otherwise, we will return this. What we did in this, same, same. So just we will be iterating using binary search. If you're not able to understand, let us see the code. No problem in that. So let us see the code. Long, long n, uh, input n. Okay, so this will be a starting index, s equal to i, uh, s equal to 1. And this will be an ending index, e equal to n. And this will be an answer variable where we will be saving the answer. So while start is less than or equal to end, long, long, mid. So mid will be start plus n minus start divided by 2. So the current number of coins, the if this is a valid or the number of coins required for mid to make a pattern will be mid into mid plus 1 divided by 2. And if this current number of coins is less than or equal to n, then this is an answer. And search, the, I was saying the same, search on the right side of this because, uh, because we need to maximize our answer. So we will try to search on the right side of our uh, previous answer. Because if the if any answer exists on the right side of our current answer, then that will be the maximum answer. Otherwise, otherwise we will just return answer. Okay, so this will be a basic binary search approach, and hence we will be uh, returning the answer. Okay.